Hey guys, welcome to Opimation. A few comments I've got is uh, how do I get the graph value to go to flat in spline really quickly? Now, I've just created a couple of short shortcuts. So it's a quick video to show you how it just really helps with the workflow and it just makes everything so much quicker instead of going into the graph editor and, uh, and you know, you keep going up to here. Spline, linear, spline, linear. So there's a couple of shortcuts that really helped me. You know, this is someone I used to work with uh when i first started in the industry and i'll show you so i've got a bouncing ball here right you what you need to use is basically the hotkey you go to hotkey editor and you want to create a new custom so what you do you go here you go to editor custom script now i've already got it here as you can see it says spline alt s but i'll show you how i do it so what i do is for example i've got the ball here I've got a bouncing ball here and I want to open up the expression editor, the script editor, this one. And you just want to go to clear all. So we've got a clear blank space. Now, every time you do something, Maya records it here. So for example, I'll go into the graph editor now. And I'll be like, I'll select the curve. As you can see, it selected the curve, right? Now, what we want to do we want to spline, so I'll go here, spline. And what we see here, it says key tangent uh, spline. So here's what you do, you just copy this. So I'll go to edit, copy, or control C. And then you go into your customs, and you just go to runtime editor, new, and you can put a name here. So we can do spline tangent, right? And let's just do splined. Let's just do splined there. But you can put in whatever you like. Spline. I don't think it lacks spaces, so keep it together or underscore like that. Tang. Let's just do spline tang there. And in here is where you just paste. And then you go to save runtime. Okay. And then you see it comes here. And then this is where you can put your shortcut. So I can press Alt. Although I've got Alt uh, S, but for example's sake, let's do Alt uh, B. And then you just press yes and then you save and that is saved that's how you do it and if you want to do it for flat it's exactly the same procedure but you come here and you go okay flat press flat and then if you come in here it says key tangent flat and you just copy that and same thing again you come in here and you go to new paste it in there and just write flat tang and I don't know just do it again if you want flat tan tangent and then save okay and it comes there again again you can alt let's just do n for the for the sake of that because uh, normally I do alt f you see it and then yeah that's how you do it it's as simple as that you just copy and paste in and now if I come into here I've got my shortcuts so I just go if I do alt so let's go to this key here, Alt F. See, it's flattened it, Alt S. And if I press Alt X, it breaks it. So you can put that in as well. And if you wanna break it, you just go here, break, and then it comes up in the lock off. It comes up the same thing, you copy and paste that. And you can do it for any command. Okay guys, so that's just a quick way that you can create those shortcuts. It just makes it so much easier for me. So I can just go Alt F, Alt S, I don't have to keep going up there. All right, guys, I hope you found that helpful. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to, uh, I just created something new, which is a Facebook group, but this is a private Facebook group. And this is where we'll, we'll be been building our community and we'll be giving a bit more in-depth feedback, but it's uh, mainly just a really private one. So we can go into more detail of the work and stuff you want to do and try and get people to get their demo reel at a right level so they can start applying for jobs and trying to get into the industry. All right, guys, so I'll see you in the next video. And... Click the link in the description to join the Facebook, private Facebook group. You know, it's going to be all exclusive. You know, we're going to have our community and also Discord, Discord as well. I'll be on them quite a lot. So we'll be giving some feedback. And later on, I'll be doing some Twitch live feeds as well. As well. So we're getting more into that side. All right, guys. So I appreciate your support. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy animating. Stay healthy. Go out for a walk. Don't sit behind your desk all day. All right, guys. See you later. Take it easy.